left untouched for years. And when the student made her discovery, everyone suddenly wanted a piece of it. For 20 years, they had remained hidden from the world, waiting for the day that someone would come find them in the garage where they had been left so long ago. But it wasn't a hostage or some supernatural creature. When a Reddit user named you slash Jin went into her grandmother's garage, she felt like an archaeologist who had found the discovery of the century. But what was hidden there? Was it a treasure chest or the lost ark? Some people fall in love with cars from an early age and sit in the front seat and pretend like they're driving. Ironically, this was not Irijin's case. While she had nothing against cars, she was not a huge car enthusiast, so she had no reason to visit the garage. And yet in one particular instance she did, but was it a mistake she would live to regret? As soon as she walked into the garage, she felt this eerie sensation that she was not alone and indeed she wasn't. There was not one but two things in there waiting to be discovered, and she was about to meet more than she could handle. She was overwhelmed by dust the moment she opened the garage door. It's clear that her grandmother hadn't aired the garage in quite a while or cleaned up. But that's not surprising given that this used to be more of her grandfather's place. Now it was less of a garage and more of a junkyard. But not everything in here was junk. It was obvious that no one had been in here for years, and she never expected to find anything of value in there given that there was so much junk and dust. And yet, she was about to discover just how wrong she was. Right in front of her were two things covered by huge, dusty sheets. She had no idea what she was about to find. Maybe it was a collection of dusty boxes full of old magazines or newspaper. Had her grandfather been a hoarder? She had been hesitant to look under the sheet, but her curiosity had gotten the best of her. She decided she could no longer wait. So, she grabbed one of the sheets, pulled it off and gasped in total amazement. Eri Jin, who was a U.S. college student, stood there in awe at the sight of a 1981 Lamborghini Countach that was worth around $600,000. But that wasn't the only discovery she had made in her grandmother's garage. Still reeling from her discovery of the Lamborghini, she decided to pull the sheet from the other object. What would she find under the second sheet? Would it reveal something more valuable than the first? As soon as she tore away just a bit of the protective shielding, she could tell that this car was in worse condition than the first. The car had obviously seen better days, but it still seemed to be an impressive model nonetheless. With just a bit of the car revealed, it was obvious at least that this car was another pricey model. Although the paint job was faded and chipped, the exterior of the car seemed to be okay, although there were ultimately a few missing pieces. She reached out and pulled the other sheet away and lo and behold, there was yet another 1980s sports car. But this time, it wasn't a Lamborghini. It was a Ferrari 308 worth about $300,000. But who owned these cars? These vehicles didn't just magically transport themselves into the garage. They obviously belonged to someone, but the question was, who? And why did they abandon them here so that they would deteriorate? After speaking with her grandmother, she discovered the vehicle's origin story and decided to post the photo of the white Lamborghini on Reddit. And on the caption, she wrote, Despite the rust and dust, Grandma's 1981 Lamborghini Countach is the coolest. And netizens went nuts. Reddit users were instantly intrigued by the Lamborghini and started asking questions like whether she could post more photos and why her grandmother even owned these sportscas. And she didn't hold back on the explanation. The college student responded to everyone's questions by explaining, My late grandpa bought it for his exotic car rental business in 1989, but after insurance costs became too high for him to operate the company, he kept the car and many others including the Ferrari 308 in front of the Lumbo, outside, and in leaky garages for 20 plus years instead of selling them. Don't ask me why, I have no clue. She also shared that this kind of car abuse hurts my soul, referring to the condition of the vehicles. But despite the state of the sportscas, she felt that the discovery was unique and that the vehicles were like pages to her grandfather's past. But could she make money out of them? Like most typical college students, she barely had a penny to her name and yet, she had just found two vehicles worth a lot of money. But the cars weren't in the greatest condition. What was she going to do? 
She didn't know much about cars other than the fact that they needed oil, and that they had a gas and a brake pedal. So, she had no clue when it came to what these sports cars needed to get on the road again. And time was running out. She shared how she hoped that the cars could be passed on to someone else in the family, perhaps someone who knew more about cars than she did and could fully restore them. But her grandma had other plans. On Reddit, she revealed that her grandmother was eager to get the vehicles out of her garage. But ironically, she hadn't put the cars up for sale, and yet, she wasn't entirely opposed to accepting an offer so long as it was a good one. While the Lamborghini resembled the Countach make, which was produced from 1974 to 1990, the car also had a few interesting features which were narrowed down to only the 1982 version of the automobile. The white Lamborghini looked quite similar to a special edition LP500S without the rear wing. It's said that only 321 of these were built, and it was considered a limited-run model. But what is its top speed? If this was an LP500S, then it most likely had a 4.8-liter V12 385 horsepower engine. And with a 5-speed manual gearbox, this vehicle could reach 62 miles per hour in less than 6 seconds and hit a maximum speed of 196 miles per hour. The car also has wing doors, which rotate vertically rather than opening outwards like conventional doors. This feature accentuates just how close the driver sits to the ground. The interior of the LP500S was also given an update to include a more stylish dashboard, leather interiors, side sills, and a center console. But what about the Ferrari? The Ferrari 308 is a GTS Targa model, like the one seen on the 1980s TV series Magnum P.I. Eri Jin shared on Reddit that the Ferrari's wheels were stolen years ago while it sat in a barn. So, anyone looking to restore the vehicle would have to find four wheels that match the look of the Ferrari. But what about the inside? The Ferrari 308's exterior might not be everyone's cup of tea given that it spent years collecting dust. But she admits that the inside has also fallen in a state of disarray after years of neglect. But she doesn't regret finding them. Although the Ferrari 308 isn't the fastest or most expensive car ever produced under the Ferrari name, it gained notoriety from the television series Magnum P.I. which showcased ultra-cool Tom Selleck as a private investigator who cruised around in the famous vehicle to solve crimes. The series ran from 1980 to 1988, and the car remained a constant presence throughout the show's run. Its sharp angles were exciting for the time and inspired more trends that would follow in the 1980s. But that isn't the last time we've seen these famous cars. The Lamborghini Countach was recently seen by moviegoers in the 2013 film The Wolf of Wall Street, which saw Leonardo DiCaprio's character Jordan Belfort driving the much-envied car. The real-life Belfort actually owned a Countach, and he also had a Ferrari Testarossa in his garage. Walking into the garage and discovering these two sports cars inside her grandmother's garage was certainly an incredible discovery that could prove to be lucrative for this college student if she were to find someone willing to take the vehicles off her hands in exchange for what could be close to a million. This car is a Maserati Quattroport, a four-door full-size luxury sports car which was first introduced in 1963. The vehicle was photographed after being abandoned in a river in the south of Israel. There are common flooding problems in the area, so the abandonment might have been a mistake, but it's heartbreaking nonetheless. The F50 is a very popular model of Ferrari, but it's also a rare find. Only 349 of these were ever produced, and they were the last Ferraris to feature an F1 engine. This vehicle was found abandoned in Nigeria just sitting in a dirt field in very poor condition. The DeLorean was a unique vehicle that has become more and more iconic over time because of its appearance in Back to the Future. This model was found in rough shape and although it no longer runs, the brakes are still in working condition. The owner of this vintage vehicle purchased the car in the early 60s and used it for the next 12 years before putting it into storage in 1975. It was completely forgotten afterwards and today it still exists in the same spot it was parked in all of those years ago, only now it has much more rust and greenery growing on it. This car was made in celebration of the 30th anniversary of the Lamborghini brand in 1994. Only 150 units of the SE30 were made and this one was left to collect dust in a parking lot in Austria. 
Auto experts have noted that it has been parked for so long that its impressive V12 engine will need some serious maintenance to get driving again. This Countach, similar to the one found in the Reddit user's garage, was abandoned on a farm. Destined to now live out on the pastures, the unique vehicle has been deemed unfixable by some car fans, even though a Countach in good condition could fetch a couple hundred thousand dollars at auction. The Miura was produced from 1966 to 1973, and sadly, this specific vehicle only saw the light of day for a few years before it was put into a garage in 1988. It sat there until May of 2015, when it was found absolutely caked in dust. Thankfully, its interior damage wasn't bad, and it is now fully restored.